The prophet you don't recognize cannot do this. When you're telling me your problem, I'm not seeing you. I am the big God who is bigger than that problem. Help me look at somebody by your right hand side. Look into his or her eyes. Say to him, anytime there's a delay in miracles, God sent a prophet. Grace is found me just as I am. Empty hand above Show me your faith and I'll show you your miracle. On Tuesday coming, that boy that quarreled with you is setting you up again. And their plan is to stab you with butter on your head. When that happens on Tuesday, don't respond. The Bible says, if the foundation be shaken, what will the righteous do? I came to somebody this afternoon with a message. A message of hope. A message of faith. Just to let you know that problems may last, but they are not everlasting. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We worship His Majesty. We glorify your name. We worship His majesty. We worship you for your presence. We worship His majesty. Thank you for your love. We worship His majesty. Thank you for your mercies. We worship you. Thank you for your grace. We worship you. Thank you for outpouring of your presence. We worship you. We glorify your name. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you are going to be doing in our lives. We return all the glory to you, mighty Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have worshipped. You may be seated. God bless you. Pick up your Bibles quickly. Hallelujah. I believe God and I believe his spirit that the anointing is going to touch every one of us today. If you believe it, say amen. amen. Lift up your hands. Say, Father, I believe your presence in my life today. Come on, you can do it better than that. Say, Father, I believe your presence in my life today. Shout amen like you know it. On a first service like this, we scheduled for anointing service. Why? Turning your Bibles with me to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter number 9. I want to show you something in verse 10, in verse 8. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter number 9. I want to show you something in verse 8. This is very important. Why? Why should we schedule the anointing or for anointing service in a Sunday like this? Why is it important that we should observe the anointing service in a Sunday service like this. Because the wise man said that we should not let our garments be soiled. And we should not let oil lack on our heads. If you are in Ecclesiastes chapter number 9 verse 8, say yes, I'm there. Let's read together to go. Let thy garments be always white. And let thy head lack no ointment. There are two things that God wants to do in your life this year. God wants to make sure that your life is filled with righteousness, with holiness. God wants to make sure that this year you will live a life that shows the light of Christ in your life. Because you know we are living in the end time. And everything you can talk about signifies, points out that we are living in the end time. And as a child of God, all you owe yourself 
And your destiny is to make sure you don't soil your clothes. Don't soil your clothes. There are issues, there are things that will come around you. Excuse me. That will make you to soil your clothes. Temptations will come. Money issues will come. For men, women issues will come. Misunderstandings can happen in your family. In your working place, they can set traps for you. But the Lord said, do not allow your clothes to be soiled. Economic pressure will continue. You know, God told me last day, he said, we need to pray for Naira because if we don't pray for Naira, it will continue to be devalued. Right now, as at yesterday, we are buying the black market a dollar for 197 Naira. Yeah. For 197 Naira. It's getting terrible. It's getting bad every day. Last week, we bought for 192. Now it's 197. I don't know what the market will say tomorrow. There will be economic pressures in your life as a believer. But make sure you don't allow those pressures to soil your garments. They will want to set you up with opportunities. They are not right. Young ladies, the devil want to set you up with opportunities with men who want to give you money so you can defile yourself. He said, do not allow your clothes to be soiled. You will see illegal money. Don't touch it. Illegal opportunities. Don't be involved. Don't soil your clothes with oil. Ministers of the gospel, there will be a lot of opportunities that will come this year. Opportunities that the devil will bring. But make up your mind not to soil your garment. Tell yourself, I will not. Do not soil your garment. And number two, make sure your head lacks no oil. Make sure your head in 2015 does not lack oil. Why? You know, these guys are a shepherd. They rear animals. And you know, if you allow the animals in the wilderness without rubbing oil on their head, the dust, number one, we fill up their head, their nostrils, and their ears. And when they breathe that in, it gets to their lungs, and that may lead to the death of that animal. Number two, there are ticks, flies, that come to lay eggs in the damp. You know, your nose is damp. The nose of the animals and their ears are very damp. So, you see, those flies will come to lay eggs there. And when they lay the eggs in their nostrils and in their ear, of course, you know what happens? They will hatch. And that animal will also die with time. So, what the shepherd does is to make sure the head of the animal does not lack oil. Whenever the flies comes and lays egg. Because of the slippery nature, because of the oil, the air cannot stay. And you see, the dust will all be trapped by the oil so that the shepherd can just pluck it out. Now, Solomon advised, as you move in the world, there are lies who want to come and perch on your head. There are dusts. He said, do not allow your head to lack oil. What is the value? David says so many things concerning the oil and its value in his life. David said in the book of Psalm, chapter number 23, 
He said when he is anointed with the oil, that it causes his cup to run over. The oil of God in your life brings divine provisions. Brings what? It brings divine provisions. When the oil of God rests upon your life, you don't lack anything. That's what the oil does. It causes you not to lack. Rather, you begin to overflow. David would tell you this because he was running away from King Saul and he had nothing anywhere that he stored. But because of the oil on his head, anywhere he gets to, the oil will speak to the people spiritually and they begin to provide for him. You remember one of the days he ran to the temple. There was no food in the temple. The bread that was remained kept for the high priest. The man had to give it to David. Why? Oil on his head spoke. When others cannot receive it, you will receive it because the oil on your head will speak for you. Amen. This year, the oil of God on your head will speak for you. That amen is suffering from Kwashoko. Yeah. Can you shout the loudest amen you can afford? Yeah. When others are in lack, you will live in plenty. Because the oil will provide for you. Yeah. When people will come out and say, who? They say, David. They will bring out their wealth. And bless him because he has been anointed. So David is saying, Jesus you are my shepherd. When you anoint me with oil, anywhere I go, people must favor me. How many of you need favor this year? After this oil this morning, that oil will follow you. And anywhere you appear, favor will locate you. Shout that amen like you know what you're saying. Lift up your hands and say, oil of God, come upon me today. That's right. In 1 Samuel chapter number 10, verse 1, the Bible said that Samuel took a horn of oil and poured it on Saul and said, it is because God had made you the captain of his inheritance. The oil of God gives you a kingdom. He said, because the Lord had made you captain of his inheritance, you are commanding wealth. The oil of God will make you to do what? To command wealth. He said, today the Lord has anointed you because he had made you the captain of his inheritance. Not a co heir of his inheritance, but a captain. Malasoka. You are the captain, the commander. The leader of God's inheritance. Think about that for a moment. When you are anointed on the first Sunday of the year, it means that year you won't beg, you will distribute. Yeah. It is one thing to be blessed by the Lord. It is yet another thing to be a channel of that blessing. Which one do you want? Just to be a blessing? Just to be blessed? No, I want you to be a channel that will distribute the blessings of God. After this oil is coming upon your life, it will make you distribute wealth. It will make you distribute the wealth from heaven. When oil comes, you become a distributor. In the scriptures, there are many of them who received the oil of God in their lives. They were Mr. Nobodies. One was Samuel. He was Mr. Nobody. But when the oil came upon Samuel, grace located him and exploded his way. When the oil came upon you, there is something about the oil that the spirits understand. There is something about the oil that the spirits understand. That was why when Samson came up, Delilah had to be anointed from hell. Who told them that Samson had anointing? There is something about the oil that spirits understand. For wherever there is carcass, eagles must gather. 
Am I talking to somebody here now? Don't take the oil for granted. Don't take it as a Christian ceremony. No, it's not. There's something about the oil that only spirits understand. Anywhere you go carrying the real oil on your forehead, every spirit there must comply. That is it. Anywhere. That was why God did not allow Jesus to do anything until he anointed him with oil. Why? When the oil comes on you, the spirits begin to respond to you. Oil causes spirits to respond to you. And spirits control men. When spirits are responding to you, the same spirit will persuade men to respond to you. The oil of God. He poured it on him and said, you are now the captain of God's inheritance. When that was poured on him, it doesn't make any sense. He was like me, captain of God's inheritance. How will it happen? Forget that. Forget that. Go and check the scriptures. The moment he showed up in Hebrew, something on his forehead caused all the prophets and all those people that blow hand to start blowing. Remember, Samuel did not inform them. He just showed up and the oil started witnessing. And everybody started doing their own part to make sure he would be made a king. Remember, nobody had been anointed president before him. He was the first person. Now the question is, how did they know what they're supposed to do to make him the president? Oil. Oil. You know why it's not working in your life? You take it for granted. My people perish for lack of knowledge. When you carry something you don't understand, it won't do something you don't understand for you. Period. Somebody will carry gold. If you don't know it's gold, you will joke with it. I remember one day, I want to see somebody in Victoria, South Africa, many years ago. He did some gold. So I saw where in his sitting room, he was dropping the raw gold. So I took one of them and said, ah, why are you allowing your children to be dropping these things in your sitting room? He smiled. He said, Daddy, if this is the kind of things people, children bring to bedroom, I want many of them in my bedroom, not only in the sitting room. I said, what do you mean? He said, I'm getting ready to move out those things. Daddy, you are looking at raw gold. I said, gold? Like this? So I represent a company. And anytime they get it, they bring it here and we process and we transport. I saw it. I didn't appreciate it because I have not seen raw gold before. But those who knew what that meant treasured it. The reason you see the oil, it doesn't mean anything before. You don't know what it can do for a man. Now I'm opening your eyes. After today, your God will make you a captain. A captain of his inheritance. I say you are becoming a captain of God's inheritance. The oil of God will make that happen for you. The oil of God will make that happen for you. Lift up your hands and shout hallelujah. It will make you a captain. Whether anybody wants to believe it or not, once it lands on your head, your position changes. That's what the oil does. He makes it one a captain. The third thing the oil will do is to give you supernatural promotion. Hebrews 1 verse 9. Wherefore, Lord thy God has anointed you with oil of favor that will make you grow above your fellows. When oil comes on you, lime da simbra taladaya. Hey! It will make you grow higher than those who are higher than you. I call it oil for overtaking. What do I call it? Oh, yeah. oh, come on, people. You're not talking this morning. What do I call it? What do I call it? When it comes on you this morning, you will overtake. You will overtake those that started before you. You will overtake in your office. You will overtake in your political party. You will overtake amongst your peers. I say you will overtake among your peers. 
Shout amen like you know it. He said, when he anoints you with oil of favor, it will cause you to overtake. There are those who started before you and they have become a gadabachuroso as long as I'm here until I retire. Nobody will be promoted. Some in their families, they have told themselves that nobody should be as rich as myself in this family. Not when you carry oil. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anybody can boast and it will happen. Not for a man that carries the oil. You do not boast for a man that carries oil. La Simbo Shandaya Kadaya. When the oil is on your head, you are unstoppable. Therefore, Lord thy God anoints you with the oil of favor. And what it will make you to do is to overtake. You overtake, you become number one. Whatever thing that have cost you in 2014 to be behind, after this oil, Father will destroy it in your life. If you can shout amen ten times, it will be your turn to receive it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, oh, ten, oh. Therefore, Lord thy God has anointed you with oil of gladness above your fellows. He was referring to Jesus. When he came, he was just like nobody. Just like every other person at 12 years. When his mates were still going to school, he started lecturing professors. I don't know if you remember that in the Bible. At 12 years, he was lecturing professors and they were asking him questions and he was giving them deeper revelations that they could not comprehend. It is called the functions of the oil. It gives you supernatural promotion. Listen to me. When the oil comes on you, your boss is in the office cannot but promote you. They'll tell you, I don't understand, but you, I just want you to move. Hello, somebody. I remember one day in this church, I just anointed students, and I said to them, you are going to receive unusual promotions. If Emma was one of the people that received that unusual promotion, she jumped one whole year. A course that people do for four years, she did it for how many years? Five years. She did it for three years. Supernatural promotion. In Imsu, something that has never happened before. They moved her. Five years course was done in three years. Who said that miracles don't still happen? Who, who, is, still, who is the person arguing? Eh? Who is the person arguing that miracles does not still happen? After oil, somebody was moved from a course of five years to three years. And you're telling me that God is not alive. After today, your own testimony will be the next to be shared. Can you shout the best amen you can afford? Supernatural promotion is my portion. Supernatural promotion. Supernatural promotion. Some of you, you can't pay house rent until your daddy or mommy or uncle sends it. Or your senior sister will, and the husband will send before your children will go to school. Never. In 2015, the table has been turned. You will be the one sending the money. Who am I talking to right now? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel anointed here. Kaparanta Labaya. You will be the one paying money into the account. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. Supernatural promotion. It's your turn. Somebody shout hallelujah. It's your turn. Supernatural promotion. He has anointed you above your mates. What your mates are not able to do, that's what you'll be doing. 
What your man, before they will wake up, you have finished. One of my dickens told me, Daddy, no. I know people think that I'm so much old. The day I asked him to go and bring me an assignment of his age, he brought his age. I was laughing. Sometimes what your mates have not been able to think about, that's what you are doing. It's called supernatural promotion. Who am I talking to right now? La Simondaya Daya. Lift up your hand. Can I prophesy? Can I prophesy? This 2015, God will decorate you with supernatural promotion. Shout the loudest amen you can afford. He will anoint you. We are the praise of a nation. Stand with healing in our wings. Breaking shackles of the enemy. And set the captives free. truly blessed from today's ministration. Worship with us at any of our parishes. God bless you.